21 solid reasons why Ambazonia will never ever have independence. Number one, no country in the world believes in Ambazonia and no country in the world supports Ambazonia. No country will ever believe in them. No country will ever support them. Number two, Ambazonians don't believe in themselves. Neither do they support themselves. They don't even believe in themselves, talk less of supporting one another. Number three, Ambazonians don't have the financial strength to form a liberation war. Ambazonians don't have the financial stability to fund a liberation war. Number four, Ambazonians lack the functional structure or institutions to guide them. They have no principles, no order, no hierarchy. Everybody is a boss. Everybody is a commander-in-chief. Everybody is a president. Everybody is a general. Everybody is a colonel. Everybody is a chief activist. Everybody is a this or that. Number five. There is zero unity among Ambazonians. They can never unite because of conflict of interest. Ambazonians will never ever unite because of conflict of interest. Number six, Ambazonians lack the sense of true purpose. That's why they spend more time fighting and killing themselves instead of fighting their opponents. Number seven, Ambazonians have no unity of purpose because there is no purity of purpose and there is no purity of purpose because there is zero conscience. They don't even have a conscience. They don't have human feelings. Number eight, reason why Ambazonia will never have independence. Everyone in Ambazonia and outside Ambazonia is their enemy including the United States, the United Kingdom, France, United Nations, their fellow activists and fighters, the Pope, and even God. They have accused everybody to be a betrayer, a sellout, a blackleg, a Judah Iscariot, and name the rest, including God. They have accused him. Number nine reason why Ambazonians will never have independence. They are delusional and they have made up their mind never to be rational. They believe in things that do not exist like Odeshi. Odeshi has killed more Ambazonians than HIV has killed Cameroonians. <laughs> it might be an overstatement anyway. Number 10, reason why Ambazonians will never have independence. They waste their resources, energy, and time on the wrong target instead of targeting the right target. Number 11, reason why Ambazonians will never have independence. The few learned people among them are taking advantage of the ignorance and gullibility of the population to make personal gains for themselves. It has now become a business, a money-making business for the few learned people who are in the diaspora and some few thieves who call themselves commanders and generals. Number 12 reason why Ambazonians will never have independence. They are in Tolerant, dictatorial, and undemocratic. They are intolerant, dictatorial, and undemocratic. 
They don't believe in the freedom of expression and freedom of opinion. They don't believe in it. Number 13 reason why Ambazonians will never have independence. They don't have any diplomatic relationships. Even God, who was their only hope, have been chased away by them. They have chased God away from their camp by inviting Satan into their camp. They don't believe in God. Number 14 reason why Ambazonians can never have independence. They are more into ter terrorism and war crimes than activism and self-defense. They commit more war crimes. They are more terrorists than activists. Number 15, reason why Ambazonia can never have independence is that the population that used to hail and clap for them have turned their backs against Amazonia. The population that used to hail the fighters and the commander have now turned their backs against the very fighters they clapped for yesterday. Number 16 reasons why Amazonia can never have independence is that they lie, manipulate, and come up with conspiracy theories every day instead of seeking the truth. In fact, they are even allergic to truth. Anyone who speaks the truth becomes their enemy automatically. Number 17 reason why Amazonia will never have independence. They are hypocrites. They pretend that they want independence from Cameroon. Yet they still possess Cameroon ID cards. They still possess Cameroon birth certificates and passports. They still possess Cameroon documents and in some of their foreign passports for those who have foreign nationalities, it is still stated in those foreign passports that Cameroon is their country of origin. Why not Ambazonia? Number 18 reason why Ambazonia can never have independence. Is a majority of their family members live in Douala, Bafusan, Yaoundé, Chang, Ngong Samba. Yet they pretend as if they don't like French Cameroon or the Francophone part of Cameroon. These guys are hypocrites. Number 19 reason why Ambazonia can never have independence. The rate of embezzlement among Ambazonians is worse than the rate of embezzlement in Africa. For just an interval of three years, the number of embezzlement Ambazonia has recorded is more alarming than the number of embezzlement that Africa as a whole has recorded from 2017 till date. The 20th reason why Ambazonia will never have independence is that they pretend they love our refugees. They pretend that they love the internally displaced people. Yet, they don't want anyone to remove our refugees from suffering. They don't want anyone to take our people away from the forest back to their cities and villages. They don't want anybody to take our refugees from the refugee camps back to their country. Yet they pretend they love this set of people. So they prefer you to stay and die in suffering. The 21st reason, 21 reason, why Ambazonia will never have independence. They fight against education and anything that has to do with development. No wonder they have kidnapped and killed students and teachers. And now they are promising help to anyone who participates in the reconstruction of houses of our people who are in the forest. Now, these are reasons why Ambazonia will never have independence. 
Cameroon will remain one and indivisible. The real definition of illiteracy in this 21st century, as far as I am concerned, is anyone who still believes in what does not exist, such as Amazonia. They believe in what does not exist and can never exist. That is the peak of illiteracy. If you want to change Cameroon, you are advised to join a political party or form a political party and contest in the upcoming elections. Then you can be given the opportunity to change, to transform, to shape, to fix Cameroon. No one is refusing that there's no problem in Cameroon. But we are saying the problem of Cameroon can only and will only be solved by Cameroonians. Cameroon will never divide. Anyone who is still in that dream world where they believe that one day Cameroon will divide is making the fattest mistake of the millennium. So I advise you to join a political party instead of ranting, killing yourself, dying for nothing. My brothers and sisters, it's more honorable to advocate for peace. It is better to live for something than to die for nothing. Don't die like a chicken. The fighters who are still carrying guns, staying in the forest, kidnapping people, some who are doing uh, the checking points on the roadsides, drop that you are gone and embrace peace. The Cameroon government is ready to forgive you just as they have forgiven others like Nambere, Yannick, Kawa Kawa, Clovis, myself and many other commanders and generals. And none of us were killed or arrested. Ambazonia is a recent demon unleashed from hell to snatch the lives of Cameroonians. Say no to Ambazonia and say yes to United Cameroon. God bless you and God bless Cameroon.